top four fabulous John Lennon moments. Number one. Uses photo taken by fan for a single watching the wheels. Paul Goresh was a lifelong Beatle fan and amateur photographer from New Jersey. Known in the Lennon circle as Fat Dave, it was Goresh who took the now famous photograph of John Lennon signing an autograph for a soon-to-be killer. Paul Goresh first met John Lennon by posing himself and a friend as VCR repairmen so as to gain access into the protected Dakota building where John lived. After first meeting John, Paul would periodically go back to the Dakota to take pictures of John. John soon became privy to Paul's voyeurism and set out to stop him, explaining to Paul that no new images of him should be taken, seeing as John was protective of his public image. Politely asking him to stop, Paul ignored John's pleas and soon again began taking pictures of him from afar. Lennon, now severely irritated, ripped the film out of Paul's camera, demanding him to stop taking pictures. A few months passed and Paul, ashamed of himself, wanted to apologize to John personally. After a brief conversation, John put down his guard and opened himself up to the friendly East Coaster. The two hit it off and would be seen walking around New York City together. John would eventually ask Paul if he would be interested in taking some snapshots for his upcoming single, Watching the Wheels. Overjoyed, Paul happily agreed and alongside a second photographer took pictures for John's upcoming single. After scanning all the photos, John was to pick Paul's photo, cementing Goresh as a serious photographer. Number two, gives fabulous interview to a 14 year old fan. Most famous people would never grant an impromptu interview to a fan, not John Lennon. In a Toronto hotel room in 1969, 14 year old Jerry Leviton, armed with the reel the reel, snuck into Lennon's hotel room to have a little chat with the ex Beatle. The 30 minute interview covers Lennon's immigration status, his opinions about war, peace, and the Beatles and their music. The interview was made into an animated short called I Met the Walrus, which won a Daytime Emmy in 2009. It was also nominated for an Oscar in 2008 for Best Animated Short. Number 3 By his childhood friend, a fabulous grocery store. Pete Shotton was a childhood friend of John Lennon. The two first men in grade school in the 1950s where they would fast become friends. In high school, Pete was involved with John's early musical projects, primarily the Quarrymen. Pete would soon depart the band, citing his lack of talent and stage fright. It was around this time that John would make a vow to his old buddy, Pete, that if he ever did anything with this music thing, he would take care of him. True to his word, John purchased Pete a grocery store on Hailing Island. The purchase proved both a smart and lucrative investment. Pete shot and worked his grocery shop until his death in 2017. Number four. Buys Aunt Mimi a fabulous bungalow. When John was a child, he was placed in the custody of his Aunt Mimi and Uncle George. Aunt Mimi raised John with the strictness of a nun. His Uncle George was this comic relief and father figure. When Beatlemania hit in 1964, streams of visitors and well-wishers would ascend on John Lennon's childhood home, taking pictures, knocking on the door, and asking obnoxious questions about their idol. Mimi decided to sell the house and relocate to Sandbanks Bay in 1965 with the help of John's now flourishing career. The mansion by the beach was Mimi's dream home where she would live until her death on December 6, 1991.